We're back. Let's talk email. Matt, let us know, you know, how do students check their email? What does that all look like? Definitely. So this is going to be a quick overview of uh, just how email works at IVCC. Uh, so you see now you should be able to see my screen. Uh, and I'm here right now on the IVCC website. So the first thing you're going to want to go to is I am an IVCC student because while if classes may have not started yet, you are still a student right now. Um, then you click on student email. Then from there, um, you're going to log in using your K number at office365.ivcc.edu. Um, and then it is a password that you created. Um, again, if you don't remember that password, it's okay. I actually just had to sort out mine um, before we recorded this. So if you don't know that, uh, just give the student help desk a call or an email and we'll definitely help you out there. Uh, then once you sign in, um, you'll kind of see this is just how it looks if you've never used Outlook before. Um, it is, oh, welcome, welcome back. Okay, let's see what it says. Improve search, all right, yeah, so that's a good thing. Maybe you're searching for an email from a certain person, you can do that. Um, scheduling at a glance, if you want, you can use the scheduling features in here, they're very powerful. Um, and again, what the welcome didn't say right there was there is an Outlook app. I know if you're on um, iPhone or iPad or anything like that, all that app works very well and I highly recommend it. Um, I have the push notifications turned on, so every time I get an email, then, um, it pops up on my phone, so I know if it's an important email from an instructor, like the one we're seeing right now. Uh, this is my accounting class, for example, and it says, please note that you're responsible for knowing Appendix A and Appendix B for Chapter 11. Uh, we have a test coming up here for Chapter 11. So that's great to know, um, because otherwise I wouldn't have seen that. Uh, but other than that, you can just kind of browse your emails there. Um, if you accidentally delete something, deleted items is good. Um, you could check your junk email. Occasionally stuff might go in there, but it's unlikely. Um, other than that, though, if you're creating a new email, uh, you can send an email to whoever you might send it to. Again, it, it is worth noting that um, this is a professional institution, so it is always nice to keep everything professional. Um, just a nice greeting line. You, you can ask them, you know, if you have a question. Um, and then it's always nice to just kind of end it with your name. Um, because sometimes, and I'm not sure exactly, but sometimes it doesn't say who it's from because it's just that key number. So if I got an email and if I was an instructor, um, it's just nice to have your name in there. And other than that, you can just send in your, good to go. That's wonderful. Matt, how often do you check your email and your K email versus your personal email? Yeah, so I have my um, school K email on my phone. Um, and in the beginning, I maybe checked it once every other day or something like that. But this past year at IVCC, I have checked it. I hate to say it, but I, I honestly have checked it three times a day um, just to make sure has anything new come in. Um, and now it's more important than ever to check it and just stay in the loop. Our communication is key and it's important. Um, so I think it's definitely you check that more, if not, than your personal email. Wonderful. Thank you, Matt. Yay. Oh. <laughs> I still